pretty exciting. The pearl ones are here for the shed. You just drop them off in the grass and then we've got to still get the pearl and brackets and uh, get these trusses up. Okay, cows are on new grass. Uh, so early May, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just going to get some hay because I'm going to do some on-off grazing. So we use on-off grazing in this initial grazing stage so the cows don't hammer the grass too much because if they graze it right down sort of to the ground, um, we don't get really good regrowth and we don't good, get good tillering from the early ryegrass. So we're going to keep the cows on there for a few hours and we're going to get a couple of these bales of uh, loosen and uh, just put a little bit out so that when they come off the grass they can top up with the loosen and uh, yeah we'll just keep them on this little trailer and uh, just sort of until uh, this grass has got a good residual we'll just keep a close eye on. Just before I go and check uh, on the cows and how the grass is going, make sure I pull them off before they do any damage. Um, we're gonna go and put the silage out. So we're going up, up the laneway here. This way is not ideal because there's a bit of wastage because you're just rolling it down this hill. Um, but our plan for the near future, our, the next cheaper option that rather than putting in a feed pad because we, we don't really want to spend the money on a feed pad, um, is to get a little bale spinner. Um, we've looked at the feed out wagons that go on the back of the tractor. Um, still a bit dear for us, so I'm pretty stingy. So uh, I think I'm going to get a bale spinner for the front of the tractor which is basically two spikes in the center of an attachment at the front and it, they just spin with the hydraulics. So you can sort of spin out along a fence, um, spin out along the edge of a track and that way you can put some hot wires out from the fence so that the cows aren't going to tread all over their food. Uh, so that's the next uh, sort of improvement I want to make and hopefully that takes a bit of a wastage out of things. The cows are over here, they're eating most of it they're uh, dropping lots of urine and manure and it's a creating a lot of organic matter and then we rest it over the, the warmer periods when it grows plenty of grass to sort of suck up some of that nutrient. So that's the idea anyway. I'll just scoot down, down the soft carpet and uh, just roll out the last of it. There's only usually just a little bit left at the end and I like to roll it out so all the cows can get around it. So yeah, pretty simple way to do it. Um, not ideal, but yeah, hopefully once you get this spinner, um, yeah, we'll be able to put it out long fence lines so there's a bit less wastage there then. Yeah, that's about it. Another thing with this way, you've got to get it back up again. <laughs> good, uh, good bit of fitness though. The only thing with the sacrifice paddock is that when the weather gets wet, uh, we really got to keep an eye on the cows, make sure they're not getting muddy and dirty up here. 
Um, so once they start to look at it a bit muddy and dirty, we switch them elsewhere and we'll sort of feed them along tracks and laneways and that sort of thing. But hopefully this year, it's not gonna be too bad. A leaking trough, oh, I hate leaking troughs. This trough has not been a good one. If you ever get to buy a trough with the, this metal piece on the blocking the um, flow valve, don't buy one. So I'm just down, just down checking the residuals. Um, they're actually not looking too bad, so I might keep the cows in for another hour or so. It's looking really good. So it's um, they've definitely haven't smashed it yet. Um, so yeah, I'll probably leave them in here for another hour or two and then bring them out. And uh, yeah, they all look very happy, happy with their new grass. And um, yeah, no, it's a pretty good mix at the moment of kaiki and ryegrass. So yeah, we should be able to protect these uh, little seedlings. A really critical thing that we do uh, before we graze any new grass is to do the pluck test. It's not really a pluck, it's sort of more like a, a munch test. And, and that is just to get your hand and just pretend you're a cow. And no, this is serious. And, uh, and you just basically pull as a cow would graze your new grass and look for any roots and there's no roots so they're not going to pull out the uh they're not going to pull out the new grass so it's it's firm enough in the ground firm enough established that they're not going to pull it in. i'll probably talk a little bit about rotational grazing or soil grazing so on a grazing farm so we're grazing year round outside um our whole farm and whole system is based around how fast the grass is growing and that determines how much feed we need to give the cows outside of the paddock. So when winter's coming, as it is now, we're going to be feeding more silage, which we conserved in spring when we had lots of grass, and more grain in the dairy so that the cows can still maintain this good grazing management and grazing strategy, but also produce enough, you know, good amounts of milk. So when the spring and summer comes, we've got lots and lots of grass. We rely much less on silage and barley or grain in the dairy to produce just as much milk. So it's all around, around about the speed of the grasses growing and then the ideal grazing stages, which is four to six centimetres residual for ryegrass. And... Uh, <coughs> Dog's trying to eat grasshoppers. And give a scratch behind the ears. Pip. Hey. Good girl. Good girl, baby. Herd recording afternoon, so we take a sample of the, the milk and it gets sent away for analysis and it tells us all the cool things about milk, like cell count, so how much bacteria is in the milk, uh, it tells us protein and fat and milk yield, so how much. Uh, we can get a really good picture of what all the cows are doing and if anyone's got any infections and that sort of thing. So it's a good way to keep on track of everything. See when cows are dropping in production a bit and may need to be dried off for a break.